Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Welcome back to a new lesson. In today's video, we're gonna learn how to use keyframes in your favor to create creative transitions. Before we start editing, let's download Filmora 12. Click the link below, click download, install it, and now you're ready to follow along this tutorial. This technique that we're learning today is a technique that I use all the time when I actually forget to get the right shot for the right transition, or when I get a wrong shot, or just when I forget to get a specific shot. In this example, we're gonna take this guy jumping from left to right, and then this motorbike going from left to right. As you can see, no matter how close we cut them to each other, no matter how much time and effort we put into this transition, they just don't really fit together. And the reason must have been because I got the wrong shot, because the two shots don't fit with each other, they're not the same focal length, they're not shot wide enough, so it just, they're not, they don't really go with each other. But there is a way that we can make them fit with each other. And that way it's called keyframing. So basically what we're gonna do is add an extra layer of panning and zooming to add more motion and create a better looking transition with keyframes. And how do we do this? Let's drop all of our clip in the timeline, mesh them specifically to the part that we want to cut to each other that look the best. And then let's jump into the first shot. Now let's double click into it to open the video basic tab. And we're gonna go under position and under zoom. You can either decide to start from normally zoomed in and normal position, or you can already start with a keyframe position in. For this example, what we're gonna do is create a motion zoom in into the first shot, and then a second shot kind of a zoom out. So it goes from like out, in, in, out. Make sense? Another very important thing is that the second shot was shot in slow motion, so we have to turn that into a regular motion shot just to also match that aspect of things. So let's start with the first shot. The first shot, we're gonna set a keyframe at the start, and then we're gonna go to the end of the clip, and we're gonna set the keyframe to a crop that looks pretty similar to the crop of the second shot. So let's go into the second shot and crop it very similar to the first shot. Make sure that this matches almost perfectly so that the transition is smoother. Now, also remember not to make too many keyframes throughout the scene. I usually only use two, one at the start and one at the end, because otherwise it's just gonna look like too jittery. <laughs> so always keep only two keyframes, one at the start, one at the end. So we're gonna jump into the second shot and have this keyframe at the start where our subject is exactly the same size as the subject before. And then we're gonna go to the end and zoom out a little bit and adjust the pan of the shot. And now we're gonna play this back and you're done. Look how different this is before with no keyframe and this is after. It's still not a perfect transition, but keyframing definitely add a bit of seamless smoothing transition to shots that really don't match with each other or to shots where you might have forgotten something so definitely try this out for yourself thank you for tuning in and i'll see you guys in the next video